Hey, we're Shane, guys. So today we're going to take a look at the Shine DLP 3D printer from the company Flying Bear. Now, I'm very excited about this because Flying Bear reached out to me personally and asked if I would take a look at this product. I'm the first YouTuber, as far as I know, to have this. There's no other reviews on this 3D printer. And yeah, this is a DLP printer, so basically it uses a liquid resin and then it's got a light source that cures that resin. So this is a really cool technology. In the last couple of years, the price of these have came down dramatically. It used to cost in the three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 to buy one of these. Now you can get them for in the $500 price range. So really cool. This is only my second DLP printer. So even more reason to be excited. Um, yeah, and I will be checking out one of their Cartesian style printers as well. So first off, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much to Flying Bear for reaching out to me and uh, just, you know, just for everything. Uh, all their info will be in the description, uh, all the information about this company, you want to check this out. Um, you'll have their website, their social media, all that. Um, I got their, their after sales info and everything is right here on the box, so we'll even put all that in there. But yeah, so far from talking to them, um, they seem like really nice people, and it seems like they have some really high quality products. This looks like a really, really nice printer. So let's just start off unboxing this. We're just going to do this unboxing portion all in one take. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be much to this. I believe it's mostly assembled, if not all the way assembled. Okay. So, okay, so here we're just greeted with, um, you know, a nice protective foam. So I'm actually going to cut this whole box. I think this would make this easier. And my knife is super sharp, so why not, right? It'll also make it easier to recycle. Oh, oops. Sorry, don't, don't mind that. That was just some silverware. It's really cool because my other DLP printer I have, it's a black encasing that it has over it, so you can't see it. This, it's a red translucent plastic, so it won't let the UV light in, but you'll still be able to like see how your print's going and stuff, and uh, really cool, and I'll be able to do some time lapses for you guys, probably, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, let's just uh, carefully get this all off here. There's a lot of tape on here. Uh, it actually looks like the package is really nice. It looks like these sides are acrylic. I can pull this or coat. Yeah. Or am I supposed, may I supposed to leave it on? I don't know. No, I'm probably supposed to take it off. It's probably just for pack for shipping, but I'll wait. But yeah, it looks like it's mostly assembled. And all the stuff will be on the inside of here, so. Uh, Okay, so that, oh, okay, so it lifts up and then it tilts back. Oh, trying to be extra careful. Oh man, I'm just dropping stuff left and right. That's stuff that was on the table though, not stuff that goes to the printer, so we're good. It was like <laughs> random hardware that was just on the table. Uh, okay, come on. This uh, foam is in here really tight. I tell you. There we go. Okay. Oh, alright. So here we got an actual instruction manual, a printed one, not just a. What do we got here? This looks like an extra FEP sheet. So, an extra FEP sheet if you tear yours. So, the FEP sheet is what is printed on. So here we actually have a real manual, not just, you know, your SD card. Okay, so here it tells you, oh, and here we got like our slicer software and everything. You just use your QR code and it pulls up all your links, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like everything you need to get it going. So, cool, nice printed manual. That was good to see. Okay, and here we got our US power supply. 
we've got some liquid resin and the color is transparent yellow so it looks cool here's it's got the info on it the exposure time and everything and those are the settings you use for your slicer some gloves because you do not want to get this resin on yourself a uh, plastic scraper to get it off the FEP sheet I have to say this thing does look really nice Definitely looks better constructed than my Micromake L2 or FL Sun, whatever that one's called, the FL Sun. Yeah, and just your standard power silver light, same one that you, the my electric skateboards use. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, so it looks like to put this together, it looks like it's going to be pretty simple. Um, I just got to read the directions, find out how to level it and everything, how to set the build plate up properly. And I, I think that's about it. It doesn't look like there's too much of this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'm sure I can take this off. So I'm gonna, just going to take this stuff off here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean up my mess a little okay, bit. Okay, guys, I used the QR code reader on my phone, and I checked out the QR code. And they got one for each thing. They got, like, how to... How to level it, the Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, this printer is totally—you can hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and uh, and yeah, you can send prints to it over Wi-Fi. So this is this is pretty cool. But um, yeah, so this is really easy to to uh, level the bed. All I had to do is loosen this all the way up. I dropped it all the way. So now that it's dropped, also too, I had these two screws loose just to make sure it's lined up good. Um, so I'm going to tighten those down. Just these two Allen heads here. There's one right here. You want to get it snug, but don't strip it or anything. Don't go crazy. Okay, and then this one, I just tighten this down. Boom. And, yeah, now it's Okay, long. guys, so it turns out all these QR codes just bring, them, bring you right to their YouTube channel. And any files you might need are always in the links in the description in their YouTube channel. So they actually have a really cool YouTube channel, and they go over all this stuff really well. So... Turns out, there's internal storage on this thing. So there's already some test prints saved onto it. So we're gonna start by just trying those. And then I got it already set up to Wi-Fi. That was like stupid easy. You just put in your network and your password. Like, it was like how you set up your PlayStation. It was so, so easy. Um, yeah, so I guess let's uh, start off, let's try a test print. So I'm gonna use just uh, this resin they got here. Um, make sure you wear your gloves. Um, you make sure to don't overfill it. You don't need a ton. But I do like how this resin bed is so high, so like you won't accidentally spill over like a smaller resin bed. Well, I'm still not going to fill it all the way or anything. Anymore. Okay guys, so I'm starting my first print and everything went together really smooth. Uh, it looks really high quality and uh, yeah, I think uh, this is going to be a great printer. Um, this is just going to be an unboxing video. This video is already about 10 minutes long and I don't want to have to just run through the review part. I want to be able to do a big thorough review. Because there's two programs, you got their Flying Bear Slicer, which they made, and then you also have their Creation Workshop. I want to get good at using both those, get the hang of it, um, try different resins, and uh, practice using the Wi-Fi, and just be able to give you a full review. So, as far as the unboxing, the unboxing experience has been great. It's gone together very smooth. In about a week, I'll have the full review. Um, because in two weeks from now, on the August 28th, wait, wait a second, puppy. On August 28th, they're going to be having a big sale on their Ally Express store. This will be on sale as well as, well as many other printers. Um, in the next couple days, I'll actually also be reviewing their Partesian style printer, the Ghost. So stay tuned for that. Um, links to all the social medias, everything will be in the video description. Um, stay tuned. Within a week, I'll try to have, maybe a week, two weeks most, I'll have it up definitely before there's a sale on the full review so you can check it out. Um, this was not a paid video or anything. Um, I'm not using affiliate links or anything. I'm just using my regular links in here. Um, so yeah, thanks again to Flying Bear for picking me to check this out. Um, I'll have the review up as soon as possible. Uh, I want to just want to make sure I do a good quality video so I don't want to rush it. I hope you understand. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.